Welcome to this Tutor to You Introduction to Sociology topic video on functionalism. Functionalism is often discussed as one of the grand narratives or big theories of sociology. But what is functionalism? Functionalism is a sociological perspective that evolved from the ideas of philosophers and sociologists in the late 19th century, including one of the most prominent, Emil Durkheim. Functionism is a structural consensus theory, one that examines the bigger picture in society, but also looks at how different parts of society work in harmony to provide for the individual and collective needs of people in society. Functionists prefer to examine society objectively, in a more scientific manner than some other theories and try to formulate laws about human behaviour. In this video, we're going to introduce some of the key concepts and theorists associated with functionalism. We've already mentioned Emil Durkheim, but who was Durkheim? He is seen as one of the founding fathers of sociology, along with others such as Karl Marx and Max Weber. He is also often seen as producing one of the first scientific studies into human behaviour in the field of sociology by examining how society shaped people's decisions to commit suicide. While this study was criticised in later years, it advanced the discussion of sociology as an academic discipline. Durkheim was prolific in examining social institutions and is covered in many different aspects of sociology courses, with his work on crime, education and religion particularly significant. One of his key ideas was that society was held together through social bonds things that people had in common, such as their shared heritage or history, and that these were reinforced through society instilling a sense of social solidarity in people through education, religion and the family. Functionists view society in a positive manner. Unlike more critical theories such as Marxism and feminism, they believe that society functions for the benefit of all. They have suggested that society operates in the same way as a human body, what is often referred to as the organic analogy. Each social institution plays a role in making society work, much as different vital organs in the body perform functions for an individual's health. These social institutions perform specialised functions that enable the individuals in society to fulfil their functional prerequisites or basic needs. If one institution were to fail, such as family or education, this could cause irreparable damage to society, in the same way that humans would suffer if their liver or kidneys were unable to function. So how does this happen? Well, each social institution performs vital functions in order for society to function harmoniously. For example, a family. It socialises children into the norms and values of society so they can take on a role in the future. Without this socialisation, they would be unable to perform those roles and this would lead to an imbalance. Furthermore, the family reproduces the next generation, without which society would fail to survive. Whilst it also provides economic support for the family, usually through males working, and this means that there is less reliance upon the state to support individuals and less poverty in society. This is similar with other social institutions, with education providing skills, religion providing valuable psychological functions, and work providing purpose for individuals. For functionists, society is delicately balanced and reliant upon the successful functioning of these key social institutions. Other functionists, such as Talcott Parsons, have reinforced these ideas, particularly through Parsons' systems theory. Furthermore, Parsons examined the role of male and female in society through his sex role theory, which focused how social institutions such as the family socialise children into their gender-appropriate roles. Finally, Parsons argued that society was in harmony because of its shared norms and values, what he referred to as the value consensus, and this helped society to run harmoniously and with minimal conflict. Functionism is less influential in contemporary society than it was in the early to mid 20th century, but is one of the first sociological theories to try and understand society and the behaviour of humans within it as a whole 
and produce a coherent one-size-fits-all theory of social behaviour, what some call a meta-narrative. However, with the rapid social changes in the mid-20th century, functionalism fell out of favour and is generally seen as outdated in its explanations because of the diverse nature of human experiences in the 21st century. However, many functionalist theories still have relevance, particularly in the fields of crime and education, and functionalism has also influenced other theoretical viewpoints, such as the New Right, which demonstrates its value in the study of sociology. That concludes this Cheetah to You Introduction to Sociology topic video looking at functionalism. Thanks for watching.